I'm just stunned. You go from felon on the national registry to elders quorum president in a Mormon church with 200, $300 billion of resources. Well, number one, that their own computer, internal computer systems would prevent this and that they could afford background checks for leaders who are interacting with youth. My only guess for that is that maybe background checks are undermining the power of discernment that church leaders really believe they have. I'm done with the word discernment. I'm sorry, men and patriarchy, but you don't. You don't. You don't have discernment. If you're using that discernment to be in charge of who gets to be with my child, it's not going to happen. It's, it's not happening anymore.